Greetings discrete defenders. We're set up today to chronograph test the Buffalo Bore Heavy 38 Special Plus P 125 grain LVJHP out of the Snubnose Ruger LCR. And after we after we do the chrony test, we're going to be doing a denim and gel test to check for expansion and penetration of this round. Right. Let's zoom in a little bit on the chronograph face there. Let's turn that. And then I'm just going to fire off five shots quick like. 1133. 1062. 1084. 1,059, 1,020. The five shot average on that is 1,071 feet per second. That is some pretty hot 125 grain 38 special ammunition considering it literally was fired out of a 1.9 inch barrel. All right, now I'm gonna set up the gel test. It's quite a bit warmer today than I typically like to shoot the gel tests. It's about 65 degrees this afternoon, but I have kept them on ice till this very minute. Water jug backer. Four layers of crisp new 14 ounce denim. Very heavy denim. Wow. Well, we definitely got penetration. But it does appear that the four layers of heavy denim has stymied the, uh, the expansion on that XTP style projectile. That thing is not 100% expanded. I'm going to have to take that out of there to show you. But I want to quickly set up and try this test again with the main competitor round for the Buffalo Boar, which is, of course, the, um, the Underwood 125 grain gold dot style projectile. Underwood also loads an XTP style projectile like this one but I prefer the gold dot style projectile. It's just that in this case, this was what Buffalo Boar had available. Okay, here is the gold dot style projectile from Underwood. Before all the water drains out of the gallon jug backer, I'm gonna get this loaded up and shoot it. Slightly different spot. See if I can line that up right. Yeah, yeah, that should work. Here we go. Yep, we captured it. Good, uh, good expansion on the gold dot. And those typically average just a little bit less velocity than, uh, than the buffalo boars have but not by much. And I've tested those several times in the past, so I'm not gonna retest those on this occasion when it's almost impossible to get them. No need to waste five rounds, but each of these blocks is just under 
nine inches long total. And uh, you know, the bottom of them is closer to eight inches. So it's about a 17 inch column altogether. When, you know, with one inverted. And so what we have here is right close to, I would say 13 or, or a little bit more, just about 14 inches of penetration with textbook expansion despite four layers of heavy denim and again 1.9 inch barrel so all right now i'm going to take that buffalo bore out of the gallon jug backer and we will check the expansion usually when an xtp fails it doesn't fail all the way it just goes partial expansion and indeed that is what we have here that uh, buffalo bore xtp has partially expanded so i'm going to try one more test i'm going to put one of these buffalo bores through this gel block without any denim and uh, see how they expand in bear gel. And I think to do that, I'm going to strategically flip this gel block the other direction <sighs> and see if I can't get a clean bullet path for it to follow. In fact, I'm just going to put it off to the side a little bit here to avoid running into the gold, the, uh, the underwood projectile, the underwood gold dot. All right. And uh, once again, we have total overpenetration. We have fragments of lead in the gel block from that round. It's a very clear, huge hole. Very clear that the, that the issue basically is with the pedals coming off there is not adequate expansion to prevent over penetration with those xtp bullets uh that that'll still be lethal obviously um you definitely would not want to be shot by those buffalo boar clocking somewhere in the neighborhood of 1070 feet per second that that's that's going to that that's going to leave a mark to say the least but uh I got to say overall I favor the underwood gold dots to the buffalo boar XDPs thanks for joining me out here today for my buffalo boar versus underwood gel block and chronograph test featuring the Ruger LCR with its 1.9 inch barrel. Have a great week.